Ah, yeah, the exhaust cutout. One of the oldest and most basic speed secrets in the world. Uncork your exhaust system, bypass the muffler, bypass the restrictive tubing, and just take off a cap and let her breathe. Let it be loud. This goes way back into the 50s. I think my personal first awareness of the exhaust cutout was probably in the Max Wedge Superstock Mopars of the early 60s. They came from the factory with these crazy iron header style exhaust manifolds. And yep, they had cutouts just like this, a straight piece of tubing with a cap that you remove to bypass the exhaust system. The thing is later in life, when I was the editor of like Carcraft and Hot Rod, Rod and Custom, this became a little dorky to me. I just saw so many people with like street rods and customs and low riders that did this just to make a whole bunch of noise. And I gotta be honest, I kind of dismissed it as a performance mod, but I got to thinking more recently, you know what? I've got cars that are way too loud to drive on the street. What if I could actually have a quiet muffler on the car and then just bypass the exhaust and make power. I started to think about it and I was like, well, is that really gonna make power with the exhaust going out to the side when the flow really wants to go this way? And where should I put it in the exhaust system? Here's how I think we should discuss this. Let's run the thing open headed. Okay. And then before we discuss it, let's then put the exhaust system on without any cutouts installed and run it. And then let's install the set of cutouts by the headers and run it again. Okay. Because I think there's a possibility that the cutout itself kills power. Easy enough. Now we're gonna go install the exhaust system with no cutouts in it at all. And that just annihilated it. Yes, it did. Horrible. Our third test is gonna be with the cutouts installed, but capped, they're not open. We think there's plenty to talk about. <laughs> I will say that I enjoyed the kind of toned down temperament of the uh, big block. It sounded a lot nicer. Yeah, With we didn't mufflers? enjoy the, yeah. Uh, yeah. the killing of horsepower. <laughs> Let's start off with a test, open headers, the best that we will see on this entire episode. Interesting how yeah, it just I takes know. a dead flat curve right there, isn't it? Picks up just a couple yeah. right in there. The peak power numbers for our 598 cubic inch big block with open headers and about an 18 inch collector extension are 789.3 pound feet of torque and we made 832.2 horsepower, which doesn't mean a whole lot until we compare it to something. So let's look at the devastation of installing the three inch exhaust system with turbo mufflers. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Wow, that's hideous. The black lines there are open headers and the red lines are when we installed the exhaust system but with no cutout in it at all. The peak power numbers with the exhaust system are 721 pound-feet of torque and 788 horsepower, which is uh, hideous. <laughs> it's really, really bad. But we have one more test to compare here, which is when we added the, the Y for the cutout into the system but didn't uncork it. I thought that it might create even more turbulence and problem there. Dulcich said it wasn't gonna do anything. Let's find out. Relay the numbers, please. 
Whoa. Okay, now we're looking at open headers in black. The blue is now with the exhaust system, but without the little cutout section installed. And the red is the cutout installed, but capped. To be clear, we're not releasing any exhaust fumes anywhere except for out the back of the muffler. And look at that, it did kill power. The interesting thing about our C-Test with the cutout installed but capped is that the peak power numbers are the same. It made 721 pound-feet of torque and 788 horsepower. Yeah, and in, in an odd way, I, you know, kind of intuitively you think, well, there's less exhaust, so exhaust isn't going to be as critical. But that's where it made the biggest difference. Up top, it, it was really kind of nothing. Well, my theory on that is that when you put that V in the pipe, you're getting some exhaust going out to the side, and at low engine speed, there isn't enough exhaust pressure to overcome whatever turbulence it creates yeah. there. At high RPM, you've got it just blasting through there, and it doesn't care anymore. Yeah, it's a tough call being a, a, a change in length as well, a little bit. But a change in length, I would have expected to see up here, not down there. So I tend to agree with you that there's some stuff going on here, and once it it's at higher engine speeds, that kind of becomes a high pressure area and the exhaust tends to just flow past it. seemed to help. Seemed to work. Yeah. Huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had a whole bunch more tests I wanted to do, but at this point, it looks like we just got all our power back. You gave me the day off. I know. <laughs> Seriously, let's have a look. Man, I was really hoping the cutout would do nothing. I thought it would do something. It had to do something, but I didn't think it would be as good as I think it's going to be. We'll find so let's out. have a look. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's that good, I think. Here's the hint that we have that we've headed the right direction. In fact, maybe all the way the right <laughs> direction. The power numbers with the cutout open, 782.6 pound-feet of torque and 826.5 horsepower. That's not far off. I'm dying to see the overlay to see what really happened here. Open header still considerably better, but wow, that got back a lot of power. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, I'm, it works. I'm, I'm completely surprised at how well it worked. Me too. It took the path of least resistance in a huge way. It sure did. I mean, seeing is believing. Way more interesting than you thought? A lot more interesting, I thought. Don't you think it was way better than you expected? <laughs> I'm ordering like three sets of those right now <laughs> for all my cars. There you go, changing lives, just like we do every single time on Engine, Engine Masters. Masters.